Good evening guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. If you're new to the channel, a big warm welcome. My name is Tristan Mortlock, this is Captain's Vlog. You join me about 1.30am as we are crossing from the south of France to the island of Corsica, more specifically to a bay called Girolata, which is on the northwestern side of Corsica. Um, Weather is absolutely beautiful. The sea is nice and calm. Uh, Jason, the first met at the moment, he's doing a deck tour. He's just checking the tow line for our chase boat, our 11 meter chase boat, which we tow on a 60 meter line. Then he'll be checking the brakes on the, on the anchors, checking all the decks, making sure nothing's out of place, making sure everything is doing well. So while he's doing that, I thought I'll give you guys a quick tour of how things look on the bridge at, in the middle of the night as we are crossing um, the Mediterranean. So, um, pretty straightforward stuff here. Um, we've got our ictus charts here. So as you can see, let me turn that down a bit. Uh, we've got 61, 62 miles ago, roughly at seven hours, um, 17 minutes ago. Our speed is actually quite slow. We're cruising at only 8.5 knots. Now, the reason we're doing that is if we were cruising at our usual cruising speed, 12 knots, we'll be arriving quite early in the morning. And when we arrive, our plan is to drop the anchor. Um, but when we drop the anchor, it wakes up the guests in the master cabin. So we don't want to wake them up too early. So we decided to go at a slower speed, arrive there at 7 UTC, that's going to be 9 a.m. local time, which is roughly the time they're going to wake up. Um, so that's the reason we're going quite slow. So on the radar here, you can see um, a few targets, um, they're, but they're all passing us. We've got our ARPA uh, engaged, so it kind of tells us, you can see I've selected all the targets here. And on the right side of the screen, it tells me the CPAs, which is the closest point of approach. Uh, the TCPAs, the target speed of the water, their range, their bearing, their course as well. So it will tell me whether or not a risk or collision exists with these other vessels. Now, don't always solely rely on radar. You've got to use all available means. So don't forget to look out the window, take a series of compass bearings. We've got two handheld compasses on each side of the bridge. We've got one here and this slides off. And then we've got another one on the other side of the bridge, on the port side. That's really straightforward stuff, really. You just point and shoot. Um, so yeah, that's that. And then, so we were, let me show you here on the weather chart we've got here. We were anchored just about here, okay? Oops, we were anchored just about there. And this is the forecast for tomorrow at 5 p.m. So as you can see, the wind is starting to pick up. So we decided to leave um, this evening. And then we're gonna cross, we're currently crossing here. And we're going into this bay here. Oops, there, in a place called Gelata. As you can see, the forecast for tomorrow evening is nice and calm in that bay. It's a very sheltered, beautiful bay in, in Corsica. Uh, currently, we are cruising at a thousand RPM, um, and we're burning about 55 liters per engine. Uh, so that's 110 liters in total uh, per hour. At eight point, what are we doing 8.5 knots GPS, 8.4 knots um, ship's log speed. Yeah. And then always, as we are cruising, we are monitoring VHF channel 16, as you can see. And then below there, we have our AIS status, Navtex, and MFHF radios as well. Echo Soundler here is a little bit pointless because if you look at our Ectus charts here, we're in roughly mm, 2,600 meters of water. So our Echo Sounder will not pick that up. We've got a GPS receiver number one, and then above our heads here we have GPS receiver number two. 
And here we have our weather station. You can see it's only blowing six knots off our port bow there. It's a very chilled evening, beautiful. And on top of that, we also have, I'm not sure if you guys can see this on camera, but you might see this on camera actually, we have a full moon. Look at that. Isn't that something? And you can see the good visibility tonight. Very, very good visibility. we have our port nav light as well guys a bit of um, Corex for you here so off our starboard bow we've got this vessel it's showing what we can see is two white lights one forward one aft and a red light so I was telling us that is a power drone vessel it is underway it is port aspect it's off our starboard bow so can anybody tell me in this situation, we are powder and vessel. Who is the giveaway vessel and who is the stand on vessel? Well, I can actually tell you, we are the giveaway vessel and they are the stand on vessel. They have, however, on our radar here, this is us, that is them. They will cross ahead of us with a CPA of 1.4 miles. Their closest point of approach is going to be 1.4 miles so we're happy with that he's going to cross ahead of us happily we're continuing to continue to monitor uh, but he is currently going at you look at his speed here speed through the water swp stw sorry he's doing about just under 13 knots over 12 knots and he's crossing nicely ahead of us there and we will pass a stern of we will pass a stern of him so the plan is we get there tomorrow morning, uh, dropping the anchor, spending the night in Girolata, some beautiful caves close by that we take the guests to with a chase boat and has some great place for water sports and you know jet surfing, canoeing, paddle boarding, those, those kind of activities for the guests. And then we'll start heading further south along the west coast of Corsica, finally into Bonifacio and then before crossing to the island of Sardinia, La Madalena Islands, which is the north side of Sardinia, and then we'll be cruising around there as well. Um, so yeah, that's a short little update, what's happening on the bridge here at 1 a.m. I've got my very important jug of iced coffee, and obviously water, um, so yeah, and that's it. That's it really, guys, and then Jason should be back any minute now after he's done his tour um, to continue our passage right so a little short video for you guys um, just give you an idea what it's like here at night I do enjoy nighttime navigation especially when you get a full moon and it's so calm and you just uh, in the middle of the sea it's just there's nothing quite like it it's a special it's a special feeling Anyway guys, so there we have it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this short but hopefully sweet video. Um, yeah, I hope you do join me next time. Uh, I look forward to seeing you then. It's a VHF. See you and ciao.